मूवी देखने चले दैट्स पार्ट ऑफ टूडे इस वीडियो लेसन विच डील्स विद फिल्म रिव्यूज हाउ टू राइट अ फिल्म रिव्यू नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ यू इन फैक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ अस आफ्टर वी सी ए मूवी वी इवेंचुअली बिकम मूवी क्रिटिक्स राइट इट मे नॉट बी इन द रिटर्न फॉर्म बट इनवेरेबली यू वुड टेल योर फैमिली मेंबर्स योर फ्रेंड्स योर नेबर्स एनी वन हु केयर्स टू लिसन अबाउट हाउ गुड और हाउ बैड और हाउ एवरेज द फिल्म वॉज राइट डोंट यू सो इन दैट सेंस ऑल ऑफ अस एक्चुअली डो a film review so this is part of the isc class 11 and 12 english language paper on how to write a good film review so that is what we are going to deal with in this particular video this essentially covers 10 points 10 points in all which you need to know while you are writing a film review so we will go through each of the 10 points what all you need to keep in mind while you are writing a film review format remember is very important you get marks for format you get marks for content you get marks for expression okay so i'll tell you exactly how to write a good film review so first let's go through the format of a good classical film review as per your isc now i have written lots and lots of film reviews which may not really conform to this particular format but i would leave a few links in the description box for you to kind of see the manner in which expression is given in the manner in which opinion is expressed because film reviews are generally an individual critics opinion on a movie it may not necessarily be what everyone in the theater also feels but it gives you a sense of what a critic who is supposed to be knowledgeable about cinema feels about that movie and based on that you decide whether you want to spend those 400 500 bucks in order to go and see a movie or not see a movie right isn't that the way it works now of course now with social media by the time the first day first show finishes on twitter or on instagram you get instant reviews in fact you get reviews even while the movie is happening right with all the spoilers etc so everyone as i said is now a critic who does a film review so the first point that you need to know is to write a heading now this is important because the heading of the film review is how you it would get published so it has to be catchy it has to be something it cannot be like a uh, dangal an interesting sports film no that's very boring you know you could highlight the father daughter relationship in the movie you know doctors uh, daughter say chak de in dangal you know something which is a little catchy your film review essentially has to be something which with, with because you have put in a lot of effort to write into writing the film review you should also ensure that the reader actually reads the film review so for that the heading becomes so important because unless the heading is catchy no one would really bother to read the entire film review so the heading of the film Uh, review becomes so much important it does not have to be very long it can be about 4 to 5 to max 6 words but ideally 4 to 5 words would be best the second one is your name now this can either come right on top it can come by t s sudhir right on top or it can come even at the ending of the story saying reviewed by so and so so this is optional you can write it both right at the beginning or at the end of the review right third of course the name of the film obviously which film you are reviewing ensure that you do not make any kind of spelling mistake with that the director of the movie so whichever movie that you are choosing to review as per your examination please ensure that you also know who has directed because the directed is really the captain of the film ship so he in that sense is the most important person so you need to know who has directed the movie the genre now what do i mean by genre it could be a comedy film it could be an action film it could be a horror movie it could be a science fiction movie it could be a mythological movie uh, so you need to know the genre so it always helps to know okay what kind of a movie it is right so uh, it always helps the reader because at the end of the day you are trying to not just give your opinion you are also trying to help the reader form an uh, opinion whether he or she should actually spend that money to go to the theater in order to watch the movie so that is something which is again very important now we come to the introduction part of the movie now what does the introduction essentially do 
it should give you the background to the movie now this is a particular movie if you know the budget of the movie nothing like it i mean you always get ideas from uh, different websites etc on how much money has been spent on a particular movie it should also include who all are in the movie the leading cast the hero the heroine the villain the comedian and of course the director you would have already mentioned if it is some big music director like a r rahman you need to mention that name out here if it is someone who is an ace cameraman like pc sriram mention that in out here in the introduction to the movie so basically it's talking about it's basically introducing the movie to it now for instance again to give an example i mean of course these uh, past few days movies are not releasing but let's take for an example uh, say something like mirzapur which is a web series even web series are being uh, written or let me actually talk about 1992 scam which is on harshad mehta which i just finished seeing yesterday now you basically give uh, in the genre you will talk about you know a business based film or an economy based film or a stock market based film that will be the genre of the particular movie in the introduction that this web series telecast on sony live directed by hansel mehta starring prateek gandhi in the lead role is the story of stock broker harshad mehta who was known as big bull on how he manipulated the stock market in the 1980s and the 1990s till his arrest by the cbi okay so that will be given as the introduction uh, paragraph as far as this is concerned synopsis now what does synopsis mean synopsis essentially means you're telling the story in brief now but while you tell the story maybe not so much in a web series but sometimes there are movies which are a murder mystery please ensure that you do not give away the identity of who has committed the murder because then you are completely killing the suspense element as far as the viewer is concerned so the synopsis should just give you that much which will kind of make the reader curious about what the movie or the web series really is so the synopsis basically will talk about this is how the movie begins a uh, 1992 scam begins with the rise of harshad mehta from a chawl in bombay in the 1980s and how he goes on to kind of uh, understand the stock market and become a stock broker and ends up manipulating because of his greed and ambition to become the big bull of the stock market and through the entire journey how harshad mehta ensures that he co-opts different politicians different other institutions different banks to be part of his business and ends up a uh, kind of playing a very dirty game wherein the common man gets cheated of his hard earned money okay that's what the synopsis will be and then you say about how a journalist working with the times of india sucheta dalal writes articles on him exposing his misdeeds ending in the rbi the reserve bank of india ordering an inquiry against harshad mehta's dealings resulting in his arrest by the cbi so that will be the synopsis of the story then we come to the themes of the story now you need to always point out what is the basic theme of the story in this particular case again to give the example of uh, 1992 scam you need to talk about the basic theme of the story is about how manipulation of the stock market and the banking institutions was taking place in the 1980s because of several loopholes which were being misused by different banks and different stock brokers right all of them were manipulating the the difference that harshad mehta did was that he manipulated at a much higher level at a much higher level he manipulated and when the scam broke everyone was shocked in fact it was the first time that the word scam itself the word scam itself was used for the first time to describe what harshad mehta had done so you can put all that in the a uh, theme of the movie as to what is it what are the kind of elements that the movie the web series talks about does it talk about the rise of this very very middle class ordinary middle class gujarati man living in bombay and becoming one of the wealthiest he was known as the bachan of the stock market at the height there were cover stories written by magazines on the rise of harshad mehta right so he was seen uh, he had easy access to the corridors of power so basically in the theme basically you need to point out is about how the theme of greed 
the theme of naked ambition the theme of how a middle class person can become a big man by the dint of hard work but also by unfortunate manipulation and about how uh, the system itself has so many loopholes so this movie points out all these particular themes highlights and focuses on these themes that is something which you need to point out as far as the themes are concerned and about how the downfall of Harshad Mehta also happened as a result of enquiries done by CBI as well as the enforcement directorate then you come to the visual element of it okay now in the visual element is all about what all you liked or what all you did not like about this particular web series you can talk about how the photography the camera work is very real you can talk about how the editing is very slick about how the pace of the web series is very good that you know it keeps you hooked on to the web series you don't feel like after two episodes i bore ho gaya i'm switching off no you it makes you go on to the third episode to the fourth episode to the fifth episode there are 10 episodes in all so the visual element and how the editing has been done you can talk about the actors out here how did the actors uh, do their job right how were the set designs because remember this particular web series is set in the 1980s and the 1990s the bombay of that day was not even mumbai it became mumbai only in the mid 90s so how did they manage to recreate the bombay of those days which means a lot of set design a lot of props which were created to recreate the state bank of india of that time the reserve bank of india at that time the bombay stock exchange building which was actually destroyed in the bomb attack so all those things the visual element how did they create how did hansel mehta create that all that will come in the visual element and you can also talk about the acting or you can push it even to the conclusion part in which you give your opinion whether you think this web series or movie deserves to be seen is it worth your time or not so you could even give a rating otherwise if you don't want to give a rating in your conclusion you express your opinion you think you say uh, the lead actors were good but the supporting cast was perhaps could have done better or you could say that each one of them did their role so well that it seemed very very real as if you are watching a real life documentary the attention to detail at least as far as this one is concerned was very good so you express your opinion each of these elements does not have to be very long they all need to be about three line maximum four line kind of paragraphs in which you break it out you don't have to kind of make it a very very long movie and then you can say i am going with four stars out of five for this one or if you don't like it or some other one say two and a half out of five so you rate the web series also so this is how a film review is to be written as per this format so the format becomes extremely important the content becomes important and what kind of language you use while writing especially talking about the visual element talking about the conclusion talking about the themes and talking about the synopsis these four elements your language your expression is what will give you those extra three marks right the format will give you those marks but how the language and expression is there the content will give you the marks now how do you practice because what kind of questions can come and how do you practice and prepare what i would strongly uh, suggest you do is to kind of keep some film reviews ready with you uh, say for instance if a question comes about you know write about a movie that you saw recently you can't go back in time and say that i saw bajrangi bhaijan and i will write a review bajrangi bhaijan came at least a good 5 to 6 years back or something right so you, your movie has to be something recent a 2019 or a 2020 release of course 2020 movies haven't released in theaters okay but largely you could write i mean i i don't know given the advent of ott platforms they would ask you about ott content but i would doubt given the fact that not everyone would have access to ott content but for practice what i would really suggest is that you kind of keep if they say write about a sport film that you saw and what you thought of it so here you could kind of you know keep uh, this thing on chakde india uh, india you could and it does not matter it does not have to be hindi film it could be an english film it could be any of the regional films it essentially is about how well you express that will really count as far as your marking is concerned you could write uh, a tamil movie you could write about gilli you could you know i'm just talking about different kind of movies a patriotic film you could talk about mission mangal for instance you I, all, all i'm saying is just keep some films 
ready, the content ready so that if you get any of that, you'd be able to deliver it fine instead of then thinking what movie should I write about. And when you before your exam, say a month before your exam in whenever they are held February, March, April 2021. Uh, what I suggest to you is that by the time if movies are released, if cinema theatres are already opened, so what you should do is to keep some film reviews of a latest movie ready with you, right? So that it can be easily written at that point in time or if you are writing a horror movie, uh, you could just kind of keep some of the movies, a good comedy movie, um, a good mythological movie a good action movie just keep about in different genres the basic pointers according to this format ready so that you know the content and then you just need to kind of put it out so this is as far as the film writing a film review is concerned right i again repeat while format is very important your language as or rather the content of what you write what you write in the synopsis what you write in the themes what you write in the intro all that is important but keep Pay attention to your language skills, your vocabulary skills in order to use words like the big screen, use words like the silver screen, you, you know, uh, use words which are very filmy in nature. Use, I mean, don't make spelling mistakes in cinematography. Don't make spelling mistakes in camera work. You know, those kind of mistakes do not make which will end up you losing marks because a film critic is not expected to make those very basic mistakes. So think of yourself as a film critic. Ensure that you are able to pick out nuances from the movie which will actually make your film review look substantial and substantive, right? Thank you very much for watching. Any doubts, write in the comment section. More than happy to address them. God bless you.